Hi guys, uh, it's Miss Hall. I'm going to show you how to make some instruments today. I'm going to show you how to make drums, uh, jingle bells, rain sticks, and maracas. I hope you like it. And you can use them to play with um, music that you like, however you want to do it. You can do rhythms, you can make up uh, your own songs, or you can play them with a song that you already know. So for the first instrument, you can use a plastic bowl. Um, you get a plastic bowl from your kitchen. Ask your mom first. And you can use spoons to tap out the rhythm. Or you can use wooden sticks or straws. Or you can use rulers or pencils or pens or whatever you have. You can also use, instead of a bowl, you can also use shoe boxes or just any kind of box you have already. So I have these two boxes and I have two boxes because they're, they're different sizes and different sizes have different sounds. So we've studied in class how bigger things have lower sounds and smaller have higher pitches. So this one's going to have a lower pitch and this one's going to have a little bit higher pitch. It's kind of hard to hear the difference, but I would like for you to use your listening ears really careful and see which one you think um, you like the best. Maybe you could tell whenever I put them together, you could hear the difference in the sounds. When you play them separately, it's a little bit hard to hear the different sounds. So that's how you can do a drum. The next thing we have are jingle bells. Now jingle bells are really, really easy because all you need are old keys. And if you have some old keys, then you've got bells. So here's some old keys that I have put on a ring and you just tap them on your head. If you don't have a ring, you can put them on a string, or this is just a piece of ribbon. You can put them all together, and they sound really good. And that can be your bells to play. The next thing we have is um, rain stick and maracas. So I'm going to do them in a different order. I'm going to do maracas first. Because for the maracas, you can also use your keys that you have. You can put those in a plastic cup. Put your hand over the cup and then shake the cup. In this right here, I also have an old washer thing from my, from my uh, faucet, a hook, a bobby pin, something that goes on a um, bookshelf, a bolt, some pennies, yeah, just anything metal. If you put anything metal in there. And so, when you shake them, they hit against each other, and that gives you the sound. So you can do that. I've even got where I put in an old car, a matchbox car. This is a little different sound, too. So you can use, this is an old butter cup. This is food takeout. Peanut butter jar that I cleaned out. Or like I had before, a plastic cup. And those things can all be used to make maracas. Now, the next and the last one is the rain stick. You're going to really like it because I know you like the rain sticks in my room. So we're going to make a rain stick. Now, the first thing that you need is an old paper towel roll. Okay? Or you can use a toilet paper roll that has been emptied already. Don't go empty the toilet paper off of the roll. You wait and let you until you have one that's already used, okay? But you can use either one of these. You can even maybe tape them together and make one extra long. It's up to you. And I used tape. You can use glue. Um, I used beans and rice. And outside this morning, I went and picked up some gravel off of the driveway, a couple of pine cones that I think might fit inside there, um, walnut, black walnut shells for my tree outside, and sweet gum 
balls that come off of my tree. Here's one that has the sweet gum ball still on the branch. Kind of thought that was neat. And um, that's it. And pine cones. Okay. And some sticks. So uh, those will be all good. I also need a plastic bag, two plastic bags. So I have a plastic bag like this, two of them. And either a rubber band or ponytail holders or um, tape or glue, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do with our rain stick, we're gonna take the rain stick. On this one, I drew a little pattern. I wrote rain stick and I drew a smiley face and I did a pattern with my markers. You can use a marker or colored pencils or crayons or you can use um, pieces of, of um, advertising that come in the mail um, like these. You could take those out and cut these out and put these pictures um, around the outside edge or pretty strawberries or a dog. And this one was an envelope. And I just liked the colors on the envelope. So I took, took it apart and I thought that would be kind of pretty on there as on a rain stick like that. Neat little patterns. And then I took um, another one and I put all kinds of different things on there from newspapers that are from um, advertisements, okay? You see fruits, you'll see Bugs Bunny, and Scooby-Doo, red grapefruit, I like those. The Geico, a little lizard. And there's some Easter eggs on the bottom. They were just from advertising papers that I got at the house. So you can use whatever you have. Um, or you can color your own with crayons. So however you want to do it is just fine. So I'm going to take <clears throat> my Ziploc bag and I'm going to cut the hard part of the Ziploc bag off, the closure part, and I don't need that. Then I'm going to take my bag and I'm going to put it on here like this and I'm going to use my ponytail holder just like that. Then to reinforce it, I'm going to use some tape. I'm going to put my tape around the edge just to kind of help hold all of that together. I've got another piece of tape. I'm going to do the same thing again just to kind of hold it in place. All right, so there's that. Then I'm going to take some of those advertising papers that I told you about that had the pictures in them before. And I'm going to take this advertising paper and I'm going to wad it up into a really tight little, little ball. Or, or a little wad, and I'm going to stick it down in there. Now, I don't want it to be so big that it won't go all the way down. I want it to be able to slide, and everything that's inside there, the rice and the beans and the, the rocks, to be able to move freely inside there, because that's what makes it be a rain stick, having all of those things hit on each other as they're passing through. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to take my stick that has my sweet gum balls and I'm going to put it in there because I think those sweet gum balls are going to make it sound pretty cool. Put those in there. And then wipe that up as I go. Then I'm going to take some rice. I have some old rice here. Just some white rice. Let me put this down. You can see I just have some rice. And I have some pinto beans or dried beans of any kind. Or you can use, like I said, these rocks. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to put a few little rocks in there. Not too many because they'll be heavy. So put a couple of rocks in. Then I'm going to put some rice in, about a handful. Okay, let me shake it a little bit. I'm going to put some beans in there. They'll give it a different sound too. Shake them in there. And then I'm going to put another 
piece of paper on the top of that. Ooh, it's already sounding good, right? Then I take my other plastic from the uh, plastic bag, the other plastic bag that I've got prepared, and I'm going to use my ponytail holder. First, I'm going to tape it because this one is just a little bit shorter. Because I kind of recycle stuff. So this is a piece of plastic bag that I recycled. So I'm not wasting. And then I'll take my ponytail holder and I'll put it on there too because I want it to be secure. I don't want it to wiggle out of the way. And then I have my rain stick. And I can do it like a maraca and I can shake it. Or I can just use it like a rain stick, like the ones that we use in the classroom. You have to shake it just a little bit to get it moving. And then that's what you got. So there's your rain stick. I hope you have fun. Pick out some good music and play. Have a good time. I love you. Bye.